¿Y cuándo la iremos a terminar? Eh, no, sé. Ah, no sé. Ahí está el teacher que nos ayude. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. ¿No te pasa los audios? No nos escuchó que estamos hablando de él. No. Así es que ya saben la técnica. Hay que aprovechar cuando no tenga los audífonos. Los audífonos. <risa> hey, hey, but I heard some in Estamos armando una party. party. No. Uh, party. Eh, party. No, va a ser, no, no, no va a poder estar presente. Porque ¿Por qué? Me porque no dijo presente cuando lo invitamos. Hey, but my ears were weeping. Mi, mis oídos estaban zumbando. So I was like, ah, oh, somebody's talking. <risa> Okay, hello ladies, how are you? Good evening. Bye. Good evening, teacher. Everything is good? Yes. Nice, nice to hear that, okay. So in the name of English Corporativo, I'm giving you a big welcome to this Tuesday. Tuesday is today, right? Yes. Yeah, tomorrow is Wednesday. <laughs> so I'm kind of lost in dates. Um, okay, so I see that Estela, Ana Estela, right? Ana sí, me lo quité para que no haya más confusión. <risa> ok, ahí sí, Ana del Carmen, Diana Yaminet, Eili, Eili Michao, Saraí Morales, Flores Meralda. And, hey, welcome to the class, guys. Um, I'm glad that you guys are already on time. That, that's good. Um, ok, last thank time. You. Oh, yeah, I see Araceli now. Thank you. Welcome, Araceli. How are you? Fine, thank you, Chair. There you go, there you go. Um, you guys look, are you tired or are you with energy? No energy? <laughs> I said, are you tired oh, or are you with energy? Tired? Oh, energy? No? Energy. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's good to know. We have some good energy. Let me, let me just, there it is. I like it like that. Okay, so let's begin. Um, let me see where is my PowerPoint presentation. How was your day today, guys? Okay, ladies only. How was your day, ladies? How, how was your day? Como estuvo su día? How was your day? Very nice. Oh, good, good. Now, very good. Very good. Sarai, yours? Good, good. Good. Like, like, not, not very convinced. No muy convencida. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see well, what happened here. Let me check it out. Okay, so tonight I have prepared, well, I'm going to be talking about a uh, module number two. Yesterday we were talking about module one and module three. So today I'm going to talk about module number two and module three, which is mine, okay? So that's what we're going in, in the practice. So you can remember what happened in module number two. Para que recordemos o recuerden qué sucedió en el módulo dos y se recuerden cuál fue lo más importante um, que, te, que aprendieron en, en ese módulo. What was the most important thing that you learned in that module? Um, for example, yesterday we were talking about module number one. Ayer estuvimos hablando del módulo uno, which the most important thing was the simple present. En el cual, en el módulo uno, en el cual lo más importante fue el presente simple, ¿correcto? Yes. Good, good. Yes. So, ooh, I see a new face. Alejandra. Alejandra, hello. How are you? Fine. And you? Yeah, nice to see you. Nice How are you? Um, I'm good. I'm with energy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like Popeye. You know, you know what is, who is Popeye? Uh, do, you, no. do you guys know who is Popeye? No? The guy who eats spinach and the, in the, in the, he goes like this? <laughs> ah, Popeye. Yeah, Popeye. That's Popeye. Ah, Popeye. <laughs> yeah, he eats spinach and then he goes, yeah, with energy. That's Popeye. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and I see Erica. Eric, welcome, Erica, welcome to the class. Uh, it's the first time I see Erica and Alejandra. And Araceli, did I see you yesterday? Yeah, Araceli, see. See, yeah. Uh, yeah, I see you yesterday, right? 
Cool, cool. Okay. Oh, Basilia is here now. Hello, Basilia. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I see you're happy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Old giggly, a, a big smile. <laughs> That's good. I see Emma too. Hello, Emma. How are you? Hello. Are you, are you, are you cold, Emma? Are you cold? Yes. yes. Come on, it's hot. Um, Anna, no. Anna, I see you, Anna del Carmen. How are you? Fine. Okay, I see everybody. I also see Diana. How are you, Diana? <laughs> Fine, teacher. Okay. Okay, so everybody's good. So we are ready to begin. Let's get ready to rumble. Wait, I lost my I lost my mouse, my tracker. Wait, let me find it. Uh, there it is. Next stop is the PowerPoint presentation. You can miss it. Okay, do you guys remember what we left off yesterday? And can us quedamos ayer what we left off yesterday in the PowerPoint presentation? We did only one slide, right? So le hicimos una diapositiva, correcto? Yes. All right, thank you very much. So yes. let's see what was up. Um, doo -doo. I think I need to share it with you guys. So let's share it. Let me go share it here. Share with sound. Good. Nice, nice. Okay, let me know if you see it. Do you guys see it? Yes. Cool. Now let me see if I see you. Oh, there it is. So I got 16 participants already. I, I, I want to have a full class. I never have a full class. The first day I remember there were like 26 students. El primer día sí vi 26. El segundo día 27. Imagínense, hoy are like less people. I don't know, they get scared, I guess. Okay, let's go. So let's see. One, two. There it is. Okay, so we did this. Remember this? Uh, we were talking here about uh, actually where we can buy things. Donde podemos comprar las cosas. And also we were talking about uh, stores. Hablamos sobre uh, tiendas. Um, for example, where do you buy aspirins? You, you buy bread, bimbo bread. I don't like bimbo bread, but... Or lido, lido bread, you know? What other breads do you know? Do you know any other breads? Otros panes que conozcan? Monarca, pan monarca. Oh, yeah. Monarca, I like, but um, the, um, the whole wheat, integral, whole wheat. I like no. monarca. I like monarca, no. integral. Yeah, whole wheat. I like it. I like it better than bimbos and lidos. Yeah, because it's really wheat. Okay. El pan que como es integral, so. Even though I'm, I'm fat, aunque estoy gordito, pero igual. Okay, <laughs> so there you have Thank it. You. So let's go to slide number two, slide number two. And remind me, y recuerdenme, remind me that for today, we're going to practice one important verb. Uh, yesterday we were, we were practicing, what was the verb we were practicing yesterday? ¿Cuál fue el verbo que practicamos ayer? ¿Alguien se acuerda? Mm, la agarré de ¿Tú? Vez. El presente simple. No. Do it does. Mm, no, el verbo, Bye. el verbo. El Bye. verbo. Bye. Bye. No. Bye. no. Bye. Bye. And guys, guys, ya hay chicos aquí. Ya, yeah. Adonai, ya llegó Adonai. Bien. ¿Quién más? Solo Adonai. Ken. 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 No. Se les olvidó. Menos mal que solo anoche estuvimos practicando. Verbo do. No, no, ese es el, el auxiliar. El auxiliar. Le voy a demostrar para, para que nos acordemos. Le voy a mostrar. Okay. Sí. Uh, the section of shipping indicator says successfully identified discussion, talk about stores and other places, asking for and giving directions. 
Um, so yesterday we were doing Yeah. I would think he was doing bye. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> we were doing the general questions of the six tenses. Estábamos haciendo las preguntas generales de los seis tiempos, ¿se acuerdan? Yeah? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you going to do? What did you do? What do you do? What have you done? What were you doing? ¿Se acuerdan? Ah. Yes. Okay, so uh, so for today, we're going to do something different, okay? And, and that was present, um, wait, that was simple future. Now we're going to go with other, okay? Let's go. Number two, <laughs> 3.2 knowledge check. Instructions, <laughs> listen to the Anderson family's conversations to answer the questions. Instructions, listen to the Anderson family's conversation to answer the questions. Todos leamos. 3.2 Knowledge Check Instruction Listen to the Anderson Family Conversation Good. So dice, vamos a escuchar a, a la conversación de, de la familia Anderson para contestar las siguientes preguntas. Vamos a ver cuáles son las preguntas. Dice, number one, repitamos número uno. Where number is, one. Where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? Todos? Where is, where is Jean, Jean going, going to, to buy, buy the swimsuit that, that she needs? Where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? Where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? Good. ¿Qué swimsuit? Traje de baño. Yay, traje de baño. Vamos a la dos. What does mom need from the supermarket? 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 Bien, la uno dice, ¿dónde va a comprar Jean su traje de baño que ella necesita? Y la dos dice, ¿dónde... Eh, ¿Qué necesita mamá del supermercado? ¿Qué necesita mamá del supermercado? So, del supermercado. Veamos qué es. Um, para ello voy a hacer lo siguiente. So, you, can, you guys can listen uh, very nice. I'm going to turn off your microphones. Le voy a apagar los micrófonos para que oigan bien. Let's go. Listen up. Page 87. Exercise 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. Page 87. Okay, so number one, uh, where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? ¿Cuál es la respuesta? At the supermarket, at, at the, the department store, or at the beach? At the department, at the department store. store. Yeah. store. Yeah. Number two, at the department store. At the department store. Very good. Department and number two, store. what does mom need from the supermarket? ¿Qué necesita mamá? Cookies. Cookies for Cookies for this. this. For this. Mm. She is needs. Cookies for dessert. For dessert. 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 Yeah. Si, si dicen Cookies dessert, for... es el desierto. Dessert es bocadillo, okay? So, dessert. no. Dessert is in, um, how do you say in Spanish that? Um, what is a dessert in Spanish? 
I don't know. Yes, you do. Postre? Postre, there you go. Postre. Ah. That's, that's dessert. Well, after you eat everything, uh, pollo campero and everything, with tortillas, yeah. everything, after you ask for flan, that's dessert. Or, uh. or apple pie or cake, that's dessert. Dessert. Si dicen dessert. dessert. Desierto, eso no quieren comer desierto, no, es arena. So, <laughs> dessert. Dessert. Okay. So, las respuestas son cookies for dessert and at the department store. Okay. Vamos a la siguiente. Page 87. Number three. What does that need from the drugstore? Leamos. What does that, 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 that need from the drugstore? What does 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 that need from the drugstore? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe vitamins. You know, you know vitamins. In the in the drugstore, no. Yes. Oh, sí, oh yeah, but here in El Salvador, but in the states, drugstore is only medicine. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, number four. Where is my going to go with his dad? Bless you. Where is my going to go with his dad? Todos. Where, where is my going, going, going to go with his dad? Where is my going to go with his dad? Good, yes. So, number one, to the movies, to the drugstore, to get newspaper, or to the park. Okay, so let's listen to both answers. Let's see. Oh, wait. Um, let's apagar it. El micrófono para que escuchen bien, ¿ok? Listen. Page 87. Exercise 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family. Look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. So We're going to take a picnic number three lunch and four. to the beach. Number three and four. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike, but what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay, so number three. What does dad need from the drugstore? ¿Qué necesita papá de, eh, de la farmacia? Uh, he is need aspirin. Aspirin. Uh, aspirin. Ah, no. My bad. My bad. Lógica, teacher. No, yo voy por un Gatorade o por un... Ah. <laughs> Gatorade. Gatorade, Gatorade, or something to refresh me, you know. Okay, let's go for next. Number four, where is Mike going with his dad? Don, para donde va Mike con su papá? A donde va a ir? To the drugstore to get a newspaper. To get a newspaper. Yeah, to the drugstore to get a newspaper. Va a ir a la farmacia a comprar un, comprar un periódico. periódico. Okay, that was easy. Eso estaba fácil. So let's move on. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Page 87. No. Okay, let's go for 3.3 achievement indicator. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Listen. 
By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Todos? By the end of Ok, so dice que para el final de esta clase usted va a aprender a sonar natural, a sonar natural cuando hable inglés, cuando, hable, cuando usen eh, nombres compuestos. Ok, so veamos qué son los nombres compuestos. Let's see. Tony, is there a gas station around here? Tony, is there a gas station around here? Todos. Tony, is there a gas station around here? Tony, is there a gas station around here? Around here, around here, around here, around here, around here, around here. Yes, there is one Uno gas station on Roosevelt Avenue. Yes, there yes, is. Yes, there is. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Yes, there is one Uno gas station on Roosevelt Avenue. Ahora ustedes. Yes, yes there is there one is Uno gas station on Roosevelt Avenue. Yes, there is one Uno gas station on Roosevelt Avenue. Yes, yes, there is one on station on Roosevelt Avenue. Yes, there is one Uno gas station on Roosevelt Avenue. Yes, yes there is, is one station on Roosevelt Avenue. 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 Hey, algunos solo decían Roosevelt Avenue. Solo lo que ya los controlé, ya los controlé. That's cheating. Eso es hacer trampa. That's cheating. Be careful. No cheating, please. No hacer trampa. No cheating. Is yeah. there a coffee shop near here? Is there a coffee shop near here? Is, is there a is coffee there shop, a a shop, 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 shop near here? Near here. Near here. Near here. Near here. Near here. Is there a coffee shop near here? Is there a coffee shop near here? Is there a coffee shop near here? Is there, there a coffee shop near here? Yes, there is a coffee cup on 49th Avenue North. Yes, there is a coffee cup on 49th Avenue North. Yes, there is a coffee cup on 49th Avenue North. Yes, there is a coffee cup on 49th Avenue North. Okay, remember I told you about TH in words. Les recuerden que les expliqué cómo funcionaban las TH en las palabras. Cada vez que vemos una, una palabra que tenga una TH, ya sea en medio o al final, eh, la lengua sale y toca los dientes superiores y hace un sonido como de soplidito. Por ejemplo, si decimos norte, north. Y queda la lengua ahí, north. 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 Ok. Hagámoslo otra vez. Yes, there is a coffee cup on 49th Avenue North. Yes, no te sé que 49 termina con TH, eso se dice 49th. 49th. Otra vez, otra vez. Yes, yes, there is a coffee cup on 49th Avenue North. Todos. Yes, there is a coffee cup on 49th Avenue North. Ok. Se recuerden, todas las palabras que hay en TH, lengua hacia arriba, tocando los dientes superiores y haciendo un sonidito de soplido, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Is there a drugstore around here? ¿Is there a drugstore around here? ¿Is there a drugstore around here? Is there a drugstore around here? Is there a drugstore around here? 
Yes, there is one on Farmacia San Nicolás on El Progreso Street. Yes, there is yes. one Farmacia San Nicolás on El Progreso Street. Todos. Yes, there is one Farmacia San Nicolás on El Progreso Street. Yes, yes, there is one for Mrs. Nicholas. Is there a supermarket near here? Is there a supermarket near here? Is there a supermarket near here? Yes, the nearest super selectos is in Metro Sur. Yes, the nearest super selectos is in Metro Sur. Todos. Yes. yes, the nearest yes. 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 super selectos is in yes. Metro Sur. Yes, yes. 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 Is there, is there a Simon store around, around, here? around here? Is there a Simon store around here? Is there a Simon store around here? Yes, there is one in Metro Centro and also in Galerias. Yes, there is one in Metro Centro and also in Galerias. Yes, there is one in Metro Centro and also in Galerias. Yes, there is one in Metro Centro and also in Galerias. Where can I buy lots of things with little money? Where can I buy lots of things with little money? Where can I buy those of money? No money. 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 Where can I buy lots of things with little money? Where can I buy lots of things with little money? Todos. Where can I buy lots of things with little money? Actually, you can do that at Dollar City. There is one in Metro Centro, another one in Paseo General Escalón. Otra vez, escuchen. Actually, you can do that at Dollar City. There is one in Metro Centro, another one in Paseo General Escalón. Actually, you can do that at Dollar City. There is one in Metro Centro, another one in Paseo General Escalón. Okay, guys, um, do you have any questions about this slide? Una pregunta en esta diapositiva. Teacher, mm -hmm. near is cercano. El más cerca. Ah. Near, cerca, pero near is ah. lo más cerca. Lo más cerca. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, Edgar tiene problemas con el inter por el viento. Okay, <coughs> sorry about that, guys. Por eso me conecté. Ok, no problem, it's ok, don't worry, don't worry, entiendo eso, aquí está haciendo un viento bastante fuerte también, yo como soy algo gordito no me mueve. No ve la señal. Tenemos esa ventaja, teacher. ¡Yay! Yeah. Más pupusas. Sí. Más pupusas con chocolate caliente. Y postre. Please. Oh yeah, dessert, dessert. Yes, Ok, ¿alguien más con una pregunta de, de, la, de, la, de la diapositiva? La pregunta última, ¿qué es lo que dice? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde? puedo comprar muchas cosas con poco dinero? ¿Dónde oh, puedo comprar man. muchas cosas con poco dinero? Little That's money. With little money. So, Dollar City. Obi. Oh, yo. I'm going there. Yeah. Sí, yo voy a comprar ahí. Yo compro ahí. So, me ahorro mucho dinero. Algo que está justo en Super Selectos y lo compro en Dollar City, me, 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 me ahorro 80 centavos mínimo. 80 cents. Okay. La avena es súper buena, comprar las de la City. Y, y yo lo que compro son las um, tor tortillas rapiditas, ahí las compro. Um, bueno, compro un montón de cosas ahí. Las <risa> paletas. Tal vez llego solo por una cosa, pero salgo con la gran bolsada. So, 
las vale, paletas pasa. todo es barato ahí. <risa> todo es barato todo es barato ok Mucha, so, una pregunta. otra pregunta eh, ¿cómo tengo que decir después de actually you can do eh, eso después actually, actually you can do that you can do that puedes hacer eso you can do that you can do that yeah Actually, you can do that at Dollar City. Actually, you can do that at Dollar City. Okay. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Alguien más? No. Okay. A screenshot. A screenshot. Take a screenshot so we can practice. Ready? Ya la tomaron? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go. Um, no, Google. Okay, um, sí, practiquemos de una sola vez. No, vamos a practicar dos, dos slides esta vez, okay? Vamos a la siguiente. Okay, 3.5. 3.5 achievement indicator. 3.5 achievement indicator. By the end of this class, you will learn preposition of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Otra vez escuchen. By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Ahora todos. I Ok, so dice que al final de la clase vamos a aprender eh, a utilizar preposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Que además vamos a practicar una conversación que va, va, va a ilustrar cómo se, se hace este tema en, en, un, en, en la vida real. Veamos. Share. Yo. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's ok, don't worry. Additionally, pronunciation. Ari, ari, additionally, additionally. Additional. 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 Okay, thank you. Number one, excuse me, where can I find a gas station? Um, okay, quiero, time out. Quiero decir algo. Um, Han notado que durante el, el inicio de esta sección he ido metiendo eh, un poquito de direcciones o dónde están las cosas o Metro Centro, los nombres de los lugares propios. Me gusta hacerlo con lo que tenemos acá, con lo que nosotros conocemos, ¿ok? Porque el programa pide que hagamos lo del li libro, es otra cosa. Esto, me gusta usarlo con, con lo que conocemos acá, ¿ok? Para que nos ubiquemos. Exacto. ¿Está eso bien? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. Ok, good, good, good. Thank you very much. Ya tengo el approval. Ya me, ya me aprobaron. So. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> ok, so. Excuse me, where can I find a gas station? Todo. Excuse me, where can I find a gas station? Where can I find a gas station? Excuse me, where can I find a gas station? Excuse me, where can I find a gas station? Excuse me, where can I find a gas station? There is one Puma gas station on 49th Street. There is one Puma There is one Puma gas station on 49th Street. Okay, todos ahora. There is one Puma gas station on 49th Street. There is one Puma gas station on 49th Street. 
There is one Puma gas station, 49-3. Ahora, nótense que estoy dando eh, las coordenadas porque son las que me quedan cerca a mí. Ok, so, eh, yo estoy en, en Colonia Flor Blanca, so, lo que está a mi alrededor, esas son las coordenadas que uso, ok? Ok. Good. Okay. Where can I find a Simon store? 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 There is one in Galerías Shopping Mall. 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 Where is la despensa de Don Juan Supermarket? Where is la despensa de Don Juan Supermarket? Where is la despensa de Don Juan Supermarket? It's across from Metro Sur in front of Pueblo Viejo Restaurant. It's across it's from across Metro Sur. Pueblo Viejo Restaurant. So, uno dijo lo dijeron en el viejo restaurant. No. <laughs> you guys are cheating. You guys are cheating. Está haciendo tapa. It's across from Metro Sur. In front of Pueblo Viejo Restaurant. It's across from Metro Pueblo Viejo Restaurant. Where do I find El Gran Dollar Store? 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 Where do I find the store? store? Where do I find a El Gran Dollar Store? There is one on Paseo General Escalón. It's next to Dollar City. There is one on Paseo General Escalón. Next to Dollar City. Dollar City. There is one on Paseo General Escalón. It's next to Dollar City. There is one on Paseo General Escalón next to Dollar City. Alguien no me está diciendo it's it's next to Dollar City. It's next to Dollar City. It's next to Dollar City. Next to Dollar City. Where is Centro Cultural located? 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 Located. 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 Where is Centro Cultural located? Where is Centro Cultural located? It's on Sisi Miles Street in front of Metro Central North between Uno Gas Station and Metro Galería Shop Mall. Escuchen otra vez. It's on C.C. Miles Street in front of Metro Centro North between Uno Gas Station and Metro Galería Shopping Mall. Todos. It's on C.C. Miles Street in front of Metro Centro North between Uno Gas Station and Metro Galería Shopping Mall. Good. Una vez más. It's on C.C. Miles Street in front of Metro Central North between Uno Gas Station and Metro Galería Shopping Mall. It's on C.C. Miles Street in front of Metro Central North between Uno Gas Station and Metro Central Galería Shopping Mall. Good. Okay. Nice. Um, any questions about this one? Preguntas sobre esta, esta slide, esta diapositiva. Chair, across from? Al cruzar de. Ah. Ok, si ¿Sí ven las que están en azul o verde. ¿Qué color es? Es que como, como mis ojos son azules, también veo azul todo. Ah, bueno. Oh, bueno. Excuse me. Ok, um, so, las que están en azules son preposiciones de lugar. On, 
in, across from, in front of, on, next to, on, in front of, and between. Todos esos son eh, preposiciones del lugar, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Se dijo que era across from? El, al cruzar de. Ok. Thank you. ¿Otra pregunta? No. ¿Y between? ¿Mm? Between. Between, en medio de. Ok, screenshot. Guys, screenshot. Ok, ¿tienen el screenshot? No, 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 Ahora sí. Yes. Ok, let's go. Thank you. You're welcome. Vamos a la práctica. Let's go to practice. Let me close this up. Ok, guys. Um, remember, listen to your classmate and if somebody makes a mistake, please make corrections. Escuchen a su compañero detenidamente y si comete un error, corrijámoslo, por favor. Ok. Y no okay. están ofendidos si paso por ahí y escucho un error y los corrijo. Es para que no lo hagan mal o que lo hagan bien, ¿ok? So, please, okay. don't feel bad. Let's okay. go. Vamos a ver. Let's make the groupings. Let's see. One, two, three, four. No, three. Ok, go to your rooms and start practicing. Here we go. Let's go to your rooms and start practicing. Edgar le pregunta a Gabriela, Gabriela le pregunta a Araceli y así nos vamos a retornar. Vale, entonces okay. empiezo. Voy a empezar en, en orden. Ok. Tony, is there a gas station around here? Yes, there is one gas station on River Avenue. Ok. And Gabriela, is there a coffee shop near here? Gabriela. Gabi. Ay, perdón. It's okay. Yes. There is a coffee cup on 49th Avenue North. Eh, Edgar, is there a drugstore around here? Yes, there is one Farmacia San Nicolás on El Progreso Street. Miss Araceli, is there a supermarket near here? Yes, the. Um, no sé cómo se pronuncia la otra palabra. La que sigue. ¿Cuál? Yes, the. The nearest. The nearest. Yes, the nearest. The nearest. Yes, the nearest super selectos is in Metro Sur. Um, Alejandra, le pregunto. Is there a cement store around here? Yes, there is one in Metro Centro and also in Galleria. Okay. Where 
eh, Gabriela, where can I buy love of things with little more money? Actually, you can do, you can do, do that. that. You can do that, Dollar City. There is one in, um, in Metro Centro, another one in Paseo General Escalón. That's good, that's good. Gabriela, continue. Uh, ahora la otra. Hello, here? Yes, there is one Farmacia San Nicolás on El Progreso Street. Emma, is there a supermarket super, super near here? Yes, the nearest, nearest the nearest, yes, the nearest. Yes, the nearest super selector is in Metro Sur. Uh, Tina, is okay. there a human store around here? Yes, there is one in Metro Centro or also in Calories. Uh, Cecilia, where can I buy loads of thing with little money? Little, with little money. Little, little money? Actually, you can do that at Dollar City. There is one in Metro Centro, another one in Paseo General Escalón. Um, Sarai, is there a gas station around here? Yes, there is one uh, uno gas station on Roosevelt Avenue. Uh, Adonai, is there a coffee shop near here? Uh, there is one Puma gas st station on 29th Street. Um, <laughs> uh, Diana. Diana, where can I find a Simon store? There is, there is one in Galleria Shopping Mall. Uh -huh. Le pregunto a Ana. Uh -huh. where, is la where is la despensa de Don Juan Supermarket? It's across from Metro Sur, in front of eh, Pueblo Viejo Restaurant. Le pregunto a Adriana. Eh, where, do you, where do I find el Grand Dollar Store? There is one on Paseo General Escalón. It's next to Dollar City. Um, Erika, where is Centro Cultural located? It's on uh, Street in front of Metro Centro North between Uno Gas Station and Metro Galería Shopping Mall. <laughs> ¿A quién le preguntará? Eh, volvemos a la misma, la 3.6. Ah, sí, esta hagamos siempre. Sí, la misma, ok. Ajá. Sí. Le pregunto a Débora. Ya practicaron es... la anterior. Sí, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Débora, excuse me, where I can find a gas station? Continúa, Flor. ¿A quién le pregunto? ¿Y cuál, cuál sería la que sigo? Excuse me, where can yeah. I find a gas station? En mí. There is one Puma gas station on 49th Street. Eh, Ana. Where can I find a Simán store? There is one in Galería Shopping Mall. Ailey, what is the expense of the Don Juan supermarket? It's a from Metro Store in front of Pueblo Viejo restaurant. Uh, Estela, where I do where do I find a Grand Dollar store? There is one on Paseo General Escalón, is next to Dollar City. Um Basilia. 
Where is Centro Cultural located? It is on Sisimili Street in front of Metro Centro North between Uno Gas Station and Metro Galeria Shopping Mall. Uh, Anna, excuse me, excuse me. Where can I find a gas station? There is one Puma gas station on for, for na, 49 Strip. 49, strip. 49 Street. 49 Street. 49 Street. Ailey, welcome. I find a small store. There is one in Galleria Shopping Mall. Uh, Flor, where is la despensa de Don Juan Supermaker? Supermarket. It's supermarket. A, supermarket. It's across from Metro Sur, in front of Pueblo Viejo Restaurant. Uh, Basilia, where do I find a El Gran Dollar Store? There is one on Paseo General Escalón. It's next to Dollar City. Uh, Ana, where is Centro Cultural located? It is one similar strip in front of Metro Centro North between Uno Gas. Solo la música escuchamos. Calladito me veo más bonito. <risa> <risa> sí, hablo mucho, meto la pata. Sorry, my bad. Ok, vamos a ver. 20, ¿cuántos suyen? Ya están todos acá. Ok, um, good. Um, so, lo que vamos a hacer ahora, we're, what we're going to do right now is that we're going to practice eh, module number two. Ok, module number one, it was simple present. And module number two, it was present continuous. Ok. Y mi módulo que es el 3, eh, it's simple future. ¿Bien? So, going vamos a recordar, to. yes, going to, es el mío. Pero vamos a recordar el módulo 2, que fue presente continuo. ¿Cómo, okay. how do you identify the present continuous? How do you know? ¿Cómo conocemos de que estamos hablando del presente continuo? Use the ING. Because we use ING at the end of verbs, porque utilizamos ING al final de los... Verbos. Verbos. Yeah. Ok, so, ¿cuál es la pregunta general del presente continuo? What is the general question for the present continuous? What do you do? No, the simple What present. What are you doing? No, you almost, doing? almost, Alejandra, almost, you're close. What are you going? No, that's future, come on. What are you doing? Yeah, ¿quién lo dijo? Ahora se el arcón. Oh, Ara, yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that is, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. What are you doing? 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 And what is that in Spanish? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Nótese no que ayer aprendimos a, a el presente simple que es ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué Totalmente haces? diferente. What do you do? ¿Qué haces? Y futuro simple, what are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Y ahora, el presente continuo, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Noten estás que los haciendo? tres son súper diferentes. So, no tenemos que equivocarnos, ni enredarnos, ni confundirnos. ¿okay? So, what are you doing? What are you going to do? And what do you do? Son diferentes. Los que hay, ¿Ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Un solo. Yeah. Va. Ahora, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a, a trabajar con... Si vieron en las dos slides, um, en la diapositiva estamos hablando de encontrar, encontrar tiendas. ¿Correcto? Donde yeah. encuentro Simán, donde está la gas station y que no sé qué. Va. Entonces lo vamos a practicar con el verbo buscar. ¿Cuál es el verbo buscar en inglés? Find. Find. Mm, sí, sí. 
fancy, hair, pero en hair. este caso lo vamos a buscar como eh, look. Look, look. Look. También se encuentra looking look. for. Yes. Ok. So, vamos a comenzar. Present continuous primero, después futuro simple y después presente simple. Ok. Vamos okay. a comenzar con el del módulo 2, que es eh, present continuous. Ok. Pregunta general. What are you doing? Vamos a buscar. Where are you doing? So vamos a buscar una tienda. El, el, el Dollar City, digamos. Okay, I'm looking for the Dollar City. Okay. Um, so vamos a ver. Eh, todos repitamos. What are you doing? 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 Vale, ahora vamos con la respuesta. I'm looking for the Dollar City. I'm looking for the dollar city. Okay. I'm looking for the dollar city store. I'm looking for the dollar city store. So, I'm looking for the dollar city store. I'm looking for the dollar city store. Look the dollar city store. I'm looking for the dollar city store. I'm looking for a dollar city store. Good, good. Ok. So, this is presente continuo. Ahora, si yo pregunto en, en presente continuo, um, where are you looking for the dollar city? Bless you. Ok. Where? Where are you looking for the dollar city store? Where are you looking for the dollar city store? ¿Dónde estás where, buscando la, la ¿dónde tienda del Dollar City? ¿Ah? Where are you looking for the Dollar City store? Todos. Where, where, where are, are you looking for the Dollar City store? Where are you looking for the Dollar City store? Where are you looking for the Dollar City store? Where are you looking for the Dollar City store? Good. Entonces la respuesta sería I'm looking for the Dollar City store in Metro Center. I'm looking I'm for the Dollar City store in Metro Center. I'm looking for the Dollar City store I'm looking for the Dollar City store in Metro Center. Otra vez. Good. Um, ¿Cómo sería una pregunta con quién? ¿Saben cuál es esa doble question? ¿Con quién? Who? ¿Pero qué más? Who, that, who, with. There you go. ¿Quién dijo who? with? Yeah. ¿Quién? Alejandra. Ale, give me five. Nice, nice job. <laughs> so, who with es para preguntar con quién, no solo who, porque who es quién. Pero que quiero decir es con quién soy es who with. Oigan cómo es la, la pregunta. Who are you looking for the Dollar City store with? El with va al final. ¿Ok? Who are you lo looking for the Dollar City store with? Todos, repitan. Who, who are you looking for the Dollar City store with? Who are you looking for the Dollar City store with? Who are you looking for the Dollar City store with? Who are the Who are you looking for the Dollar Store City store with? Who are the Dollar Store Who are you looking for the Dollar City store with? Who are the Okay, y la respuesta sería sí. I'm looking for the Dollar City store with my friends. I'm looking for the Dollar City store with my friends. Todos. Who are the Dollar City store with my friends? With my friends. Estela, Erika, Emma y no sé qué más me están escribiendo. Ojo. Aquí es para que entiendan y repitan. Si quieren escribir, vean después el, el video y ahí escriben. Ahorita es entender y repetir. Es a que hablen. Porque si no, no van a tener el chance de hablar. Y aquí lo que quiero es que hablen. ¿okay? Después, para tomar a, a apuntes, 
um, pongo el video, lo, lo comparto también en WhatsApp, ¿ok? Veanlo. Ok, Vean. okay aquí, entender. O nos manda por repetir. escrito. No, entender, repetir. <risa> o, del video sacan apuntes. Ok, vamos. Um, I'm, looking, I'm looking for the Dollar City Store with my friends. I'm looking for the Dollar City Store with my friends. I'm looking for the Dollar City Store with my friends. I'm looking for the Dollar City Store with my friends. Okay, so vamos a hacer otra. Why? Por qué? Why? Por qué? So la pregunta sería. Why are you looking for the Dollar City store? Why are you Why looking for the Dollar City store? Why are you looking for the Dollar City store? With my friends. Why are you looking for the Dollar City store? Why are you looking for the Dollar City store? For the dollar city store? Ailey, no está repitiendo, ¿qué pasó? Sí, sí lo hago. Ah, no, le estoy viendo. I'm watching you, I'm watching you. Ok. <laughs> Why are you looking for the Dollar City Store? Why are you looking for the Dollar City Store? Ok, so la respuesta sería... I'm looking for the Dollar City store because I need to buy. No, wait. I'm looking for the Dollar City store because I need to buy cheap things. Um, I'm looking for the Dollar City store because I buy. I need, I need to buy, buy cheap things. Hagámoslo así, vamos, hagámoslo así. Vamos a cambiarlo, vamos a cambiarlo. Digamos, because I need to spend less money. Oh, eso está mejor. Because I need to spend less money. Because I need to spend less money. Because I need to spend less money. Ahora, ahora hagámoslo todo. I'm looking for the dollar city store because I need to spend less money. Todos. I'm looking for the dollar city store because I need to spend less money. Ok, Gabriela y Edgar no me están, no me están practicando, chicos. Este es el único momento que puede practicar. Es que apague, se me apaga el micrófono por ratito. Okay. Gabriela, ¿qué pasó? Ok, me puso en mute, me dejó en mute. <risa> Yo pensé que solo en, en, en WhatsApp me dejaban en visto, pero aquí también. <risa> okay, that's good. Um, bien, so, la, la pregunta era, why are you looking for a dollar city store? I'm looking for a dollar city store because I need to spend less money. Ok, hasta aquí nos vamos a quedar. Ojo, ya, ya tenemos los tres tiempos. Eh, en, el, en, en el módulo 1, presente simple, módulo 2, presente continuo, y el mío, que es el número 3, eh, futuro simple. Son los tres, voy a, combinar, voy a combinar los tres para que practiquemos, para que no olviden los que ya ¿Okay? ¿Estamos bien? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Eso, okay. Ojo, eso significa que lo voy a exprimir más. Lo voy a exprimir más ¿eh? Va a sacar el jugo. <risa> <risa> bueno, tenemos exámenes. Uh, no, esos están en la, en la, en la, en la plataforma. plataforma. Ojo, ojo. Esas sí hacen ahí. Si pueden avanzar en la plataforma, eh, esta semana tienen que terminar la, la, la sección 3. Ojo. Ok. okay. okay. Para, para el jueves ya tienen que termi haber terminado la sección 3. Ok. Ok. okay. Si okay. tienen preguntas o se topan con algo, manden la pregunta al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. Y ahí okay. nos ayudamos entre todos, porque a veces sí, sí. yo estoy súper ocupado, paso todo el día dando clases, o a veces me tardo en llegar ahí, tal vez uno de los compañeros puede compartir ah, se tarda en ¿okay? llegar a clases, ok. Ah, I mean, al grupo. <risa> <risa> oh, my God, tengo que fijarme cómo digo las cosas aquí con ustedes. Ya vi. <risa> Sorry. Okay. So, guys, okay. have a nice night. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Like a baby. Tomorrow.
Bye bye. Good night. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. See you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Tomorrow. Say tomorrow. God willing. See you tomorrow. Dios mediante. God willing. God willing. God willing. Dios mediante. Yes. Have a good night.